first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word in all true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today I just want to get into a lesson on how Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai is going to far exceed his words, man. Meaning that uh, pretty much the intensity of what we're speaking on is going to far see what these people expect, man. See, this is not going to be your typical famine. This is not going to be your typical war, you know. This is not even going to be a typical deliverance, man. All these things that's written within the scripture, pretty much that was set for to play out in this in this time right here is going to prosper and it's going to far see uh, beyond it's going to be beyond human comprehension man so matter of fact uh, let's start out with this in the book of Job 36 Job chapter 36 and uh, in verse 22 it reads behold the most high exalted by his power see and that's how Yahweh by Shemal Shai is being made known by the way of the judgment which he executed I tell you the strongest the Lord that executed his words, man. You know? So Yahweh by Shmel uh he 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 is exalted by his power. You know, and we in a time where the Lord is about to show his power, man. You know. Oh, it tells you that um who will let me see if I can find that. Bear with me. Yep, this is Wisdom of Psalm 11 and 21. For thou, for thou can show thy great strength at all times when thou wilt. See? That great strength, meaning this 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 power, power got hey, it's, it's the Lord. It said wisdom and might are healed. It's the Lord. Y'all about to smell that dishing the power out. It's by the Lord that you have these different uh uh uh, uh you know rulers, you know, and all these different powers. It's the Lord's addition that. But it's going to be a time where the Lord, he's going to come down and, and reveal himself, man. Which we were, we're in the beginning stages of that, man. You know? But it says, for thou can show thy power, thy great strength at all times when thou wilt. And who may withstand the power of thine arm, see? Because when the Lord sent forth this judgment, you ain't going to be able to withstand this, man. Lest you was in the pavilion of the Lord, man. Lest was you was in, you know, this house, man. To be preserved. With anything outside of this, you're not going to be able to withstand the powers of your how by Hashem outside. It tells you in uh, Daniel the 12th chapter, it's going to be a day like no other, man. It's going to be a day like no other. Great evils are, 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 are approaching, man. Even a great deliverance. You know? But like I said, it's going to be beyond human comprehension. It's going to far exceed what man can think you know so let's go back to Job Job uh, 36 it's a lot Job 36 and verse 22 it reads behold the most high is exalted by his power and who teacheth like him see so who teacheth like you how about you now shot hey hey uh it tells you, uh, the Lord, one of the titles for our Lord Yahweh Shah is the Wonderful Counselor, man. So, man, what? The Lord is going to show you better than he can tell you. Oh, that's why the scripture also says, uh, we know our part, we prophesy in part. You know, we can tell you these things when it get bad, but your bad is, is uh, your standard of bad is only what you can comprehend or what you went through or seen. The Lord is going to show you the real meaning of troublesome times. The Lord, Yahweh Shema is going to show you the real meaning of perilous times. Oh, hey, the Lord is going to show us the true meaning of mercy, man. You know, in the times we in as well, man. You know what I say? In wrath, remember mercy. We're going to see, we're about to witness great wrath, but we also about to witness great mercy. Was that something that cannot be comprehended? Tells you that uh, as the majesty of the Lord is, so is his mercy. And we understand you go into the book of Second Ezra, the eighth chapter, it tells you that his 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 throne cannot be comprehended, man. So meaning his mercy can't be comprehended. And his and his wrath as well, man. 
You know? So this is the time we coming into where the Lord is about to show himself. He's about to show his power, man. You know? And it, and it this like I said, this is not gonna be something we can you're gonna be able to wrap your minds around it. No, man. This is gonna far exceed, you know, human comprehension. The words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. You know. We only telling you to have, man, of what the Lord is gonna do. But like it's enough to get you moving. Just like it tells you, um, um the Lord showed Noah things not seen as yet. Move with fear, see? So let's get this in the book of Isaiah 55. Hey, hey, that's why I say in the day of thy power that thy, thy people shall be willing. This is gonna be a day that everybody gonna move in, man, when that power be shown. You know? But then hey, that's gonna be too late for a lot of people, man. So let's get this uh, Isaiah 55 and verse uh 10. It says, For as the rain come down and the snow from heaven, and returning not thither, but water with the earth and make it bring forth in bud. And that's what this word do, man. When the rain come down, what it do? It makes things grow. That what gives us its strength. You know. So that what you see now, by the way, the words of Yahweh Shemal Shai, you seeing these different things. Prophecy is getting its strength by the way this word. You know, us speaking these things into existence. The scripture said there was going to be a famine, but we watering the famine by bringing forth this word. And now you actually seeing it budding forth now. You know, by the way of these farmers, they had they was actually uh, commanded pretty much to, to, to kill off a lot of livestock, get rid of a lot of crops. That's the famine budding forth and, and budding now. Uh, 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 these different, these wars, plural, by the way of the race war. You know, you had these different uh, series of cops shooting down jakes in the streets. You know, uh, oh, uh, that's that's the pocket of the race war. Um, dealing with uh, the uh, the Egyptians versus the Egyptians, like that buying Trump beef ain't that ain't died off. Trump still in the news, man. That's another form of these wars about bud forth. Oh, the, the war war. You know, you got all these different, this tension between all these different nations. So you see these things bring a forth in bud now because we speaking on it, man. And it's going to far exceed what you think it's going to be, man. That's why I said, but this battle, just dealing with World War Three, this battle is going to be burning the fuel of fire, man. So that lets you know the Lord's going to one-up it with everything, man. You know? So it says, um... That it may give seed to the sower and bread to the either, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. See, so this word is going to prosper. It's going to exceed what we say it is. We, we, you know, we're going to tell you to have it. We're saying it's going to be bad, but like I said. You only know bad or evil according to your situation or your standard or what you've been through or seen. But we're going to know what evil is according to your house by Shemi The full extent of the evil, man. You know? That's why it tells you these players are going to come in this perfection. But we, like I said, also, it's a balance. we also going to witness the, 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 uh, this, this deliverance, which is going to far exceed human comprehension. Tell you they're gonna um, be amazed at the strangers of the salvation, man. But just going back, this is the time where Yahweh by Shai is about to show his power, man. And, and it's gonna be he is the Lord is gonna show you better than he can tell you, man. You know? So, matter of fact, let's get this and um gonna say it's gonna prosper. Let's get this in a book of so um uh Sirach 43. Sirach chapter 43. And, um. Sirach 43. Sirach, yeah. Yep, Sirach 43. And I started at 27. We may speak much and yet come short. See, so. And when you go into this, this is going into the works of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Just a just an inkling, a, a, a half of a grain of sand of what the, the works of Yahweh by Shema Shah. So we can speak on these things and come short, man. You know, we can talk about 
the, 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 the marvelous works the Lord did in Egypt, the wonderful works he did in Sodom, you know, uh, Nineveh, and these former kingdoms as before, you know, the flood. We can speak on speak on these things, but we, we yet come short. It says, well, for in some, he is all. See, just to sum it all up, he is, man. You know, he is, man. This is the best way. That why that why you can't you can't really put it into words. You know you you can only uh, you know uh, get get you know uh, give a rough estimate how bad it's gonna be. But it's gonna like I said, it's gonna far exceed that, man. That's why I said just to sum it up, he is all, man. You know it says, how shall we be able to magnify him? For he is great above all his works. See. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can, for even yet will he far exceed. See, so we talk about Yahweh Bashim outside his works. It's going to, guess what? It, 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 he's going to far exceed. Because guess what? And even in this time, the Lord's going to want up it. Oh, I'm um, going back to Jeremiah. Um, what it is? The 16th chapter, it says, There's no more going to be said the Lord lived that brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Because now in this modern time, People can talk about Egypt, but they always forget who did it to Egypt, you know? But in this time before anything, before you say anything about America, you're going to utter the names of Yahweh while Yahweh shot before anything, man. You know? So, Because the Lord, he's about to one up it, man. He's about to throw the kitchen sink at this place. So, yeah, we can talk about Sodom and Gomorrah. We can talk about Egypt. You know, we can talk about Nineveh and, and other people. The, the other works of the Lord that he have done as before. Guess what? He's going to far see in this time. You know? It says, And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can go never, for ye can never go far enough. See? Who have seen him that he might tell us, and who can magnify him as he is. And that's our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You know? It says, There are yet here greater things than these be, for we have seen but a few of his works. See, we're gonna see in a few, man. And this is, and, and guess what? We're gonna see a lot. We're gonna see a lot more works in this time. These newly created beasts. We about to see new animals come on the scene now, man. The words of the Lord is is about to is about to be in your face, man. <laughs> you know. And like I said, and we only told you to have other things. You know, it tell you which the whole really. We told you the whole. Like I said, we on the prophesying part, man. Because the Lord is about to far see. It's, like I said, it's about to be beyond human comprehension on what Yahweh Bashim al is about to do, man. So I'm going to end off on this with a quick example. Because you had pretty much um, un, in, uh, under Solomon's regime, you had men actually going out through, you know, the earth. Letting people know about Solomon, man. You know? Letting, getting everybody heads up about, our, you know, our King Solomon, man. And and how he's he's the greatest of all, all you know. Putting our king on the pedestal, and guess what? Matter of fact, let's just get it real quick. This is the book of First Kings ten, and um, I started. I started at four. It said, and when the queen of Sheba had seen all of Solomon's wisdom, and the house that he had built, cause you got you got to go on. Like I said, she had uh, Solomon had. Serve actually, you know, going out to these different kingdoms and, and giving them, letting them know about them, man. You know, but as in this example, she was compelled to come to Solomon and, and to see all these things that were spoken about him, man. So it says, and when the, and then when the queen of Sheba had seen all of Solomon's wisdom in the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his service, and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel and his cupbearers. And his uh, and his accent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. See, she was taken, you know, by the majesty of Solomon, man. You know, she was taken about these things. You know, the things that was said to her, you know, pretty much it lived up to her. Actually, it, it far exceeded. Well, you know, you you, you know you could you, oh that why um hey just dealing with us. Uh, Spirit, hey, uh, Paul said it was unlawful to speak on the things that he's seen in the heavens of heavens, man. You know, so just dealing with these plays that's happening on the planet Earth, we can only 
We can only give you so much. The Lord is, is going to show you better than he can tell you, man. We just telling you enough to get you to move, man. But the Lord is going to, when these things are going to come down, that's going to make you really move, you know. But let's go on back. It said there was no more spirit else. So she was taken by these things. It says, and she said to the king, it was a true report that I heard in my own land of thy acts and of thy will. So Solomon was performing uh, acts, man, different miracles, you know. And it was beyond human comprehension, man. You know, he Solomon was doing certain acts, man. Yeah, he his it said it says and of thy will. So they they came for the wisdom, but uh, Solomon also had acts, man. You know, it says, "How be it? I believe not the words until I came, and mine eyes have seen it. And behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard." See, so this is going to exceed the fame which you hear, heard, man. Oh, it tells you that the king's going to shut their mouths. You know, that was not told to them. They're going to see it, but that was not told to them, man. So, hey, man, this is going to, the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah are going to far see what we say, man. Because like I said, the Lord is known as the wonderful counselor. He can show you better than he can tell you. You thought the family was bad because you just compared it to what you read in history, you know. But this is going to be, uh, this is going to be the worst famine of all, dealing with the sword in these wars. You thought it was bad, World War I, World War II, the Civil War. But this war is going to far see all these things, you know. And this is the this is the work of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. So yeah, I can I just hold it with edify. I want to give all praise and then glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kodash. I like to give double honors to the pastors and elders of Great Millstone. I like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches word and our true faith and sincerity. BTA, a Bible ball. Soon, very soon.